ions. What an ion is? It's a charged particle. There are two types, cations and anions. Cations are positively charged. Anions are negatively charged. And I'm going to do an example of each of them right now. So, cations. Uh, I'm going to pick one that's not relative too terrible. We're going to pick aluminum. Mass number 26. Atomic number 13. Normally, aluminum would have 13 protons, 13 electrons, and 13 neutrons, right? Where does those come from? The 13 comes from 13 protons. It does not have a charge here whatsoever, so therefore that's also 13 electrons. And 26 minus 13 gives you 13 neutrons. Now, when you draw the Bohr model for this, this is what you get. You draw a nucleus with 13 protons in it. You draw 13 neutrons inside that nucleus. Two electrons, eight electrons. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That gives you a total of 10. So that means in this next level outside the valence shell, there are only three. And I would space them the best you can. So one, two, and three. Now, we have a question to ask ourselves, and that question is this. There are eight electrons that fit in the outermost level. And in order for things to be stable, atoms want to obtain something called a full octet, or what we're going to call the octet rule. Meaning, in their outermost level, away from the nucleus, they want eight electrons. So aluminum has a decision to make, right? It can gain five more, because it's already got three. It can gain five more, or it could say, we'll lose these three and have the eight on the inside of the second shell. Well, you know, gain five or lose three, the thing that's easier to do is to lose three. When it does this, it takes on a form that is called an ion. What we now say is this. This is now aluminum. And there are currently 13 protons and only 10 electrons, right? So therefore, there are three more positively charged protons than there are negatively charged electrons. Therefore, this is Al plus 3. This is called an ion. And it's a cation because it's positively charged. When we do the drawing, we have to depict that. We have to put a bracket and a plus three. That way, people know that this is the Bohr model of aluminum as an ion, a cation. All right, let's back up. So let's say now, you know, we want to attack, uh, I don't know, an anion. Let's see if I can find a, a good anion on the fly. Let's do oxygen, but we're going to do O negative 2. Sometimes you'll see it as O 2 minus. Don't let that confuse you. It's potato, potato. Some people write it either way. So with oxygen, right, we're going to do mass number 16. We'll keep it simple. You go to the periodic table, you can find its atomic number, which is 8. So normally oxygen would have, let's, let's even do that. We'll do it without the, at first. Normally we'd have eight protons, eight electrons, because it's not charged right now. 16 minus eight is eight neutrons, right? So you draw the Bohr model. Eight protons, eight neutrons, two electrons. And then it would also have, uh, let's see, six more, right? So one, two, three, four, Five, six. Why did I choose those two? I just did. I could have easily done five and six there. So the octet rule now says, okay, 
eight electrons in the outermost level. This thing's got six, so it has a choice. It can gain two more to get to eight, or it could lose the six that are here to fill its inner shell. Well, obviously, it makes more sense to gain two than to lose six. So what this thing says is this. We're willing to gain two electrons from something looking to give them away, a cation who's looking to give up two electrons. We'll talk about that when we make chemical bonds. So this thing is looking to become an anion because here's what's going to happen. It's going to gain an electron here, gain an electron here, and it gets a full octet. It's happy. It now has eight protons, eight neutrons, but now it has 10 electrons. So the total charge, eight positives, 10 negatives, makes this O negative two. It's called an anion because it's a negatively charged thing. We put a bracket around it, and a minus two, and that is ions.